Hey fellow music fans, welcome back to Psychology of Rock. If you're new here, my name's Nina, and about two weeks ago I released a video where I shared my theories on the title and the cover art for the Warnings upcoming album called Keep Me Fed. And as usual, the comment section did not disappoint. I loved hearing your thoughts. I thought you had some amazing insights and interpretations, and it looks like there were actually a few things that you picked up on that I may have overlooked. Now, if you did not see that video, I will go ahead and link it in the description box below so you can find it. But I thought it would be fun today to kind of go over your theories and thoughts so we can fine tune our analysis. So let's go ahead and jump right in. And I think we should start with your theories about the cover art as a whole. Now, many of you actually agreed with my analysis, at least for the most part, but there were some completely different interpretations, several of which I had not even considered. The most prevalent comment by a significant margin was that the artwork bore a resemblance to da Vinci's depiction of the Last Supper. In fact, many of you felt that it was so obvious that you were surprised that I did not mention it. Now, clearly, there's got to be some notable similarities since so many people mentioned it, but I have to say that this did not cross my mind until after I read your comments, maybe because it just seems kind of out of character for the band that I didn't think of it. But looking at the painting now, I can see some things compositionally that might lead people to make this comparison. Both are depicting a group of people gathered at a table covered with food with everyone sitting on one side of the table and both have these groups of three people clustered on the end. There's also a somewhat similar color scheme with both Pau and Jesus wearing red and both are in the center. So I do see what everyone is saying. To me though, I really feel like these similarities are coincidental and I still think that the differences outweigh these similarities. I think one of the most prominent aspects of the Keep Me Fed album cover is that it centers around an extravagant feast in an upscale setting. There's a huge crystal chandelier and an abundance of decadent food and everyone except for the band has on opulent attire with almost all of them wearing tuxedos. The Last Supper, I believe at least, was a Passover meal which likely had much more modest food, whereas the album cover looks more like a banquet of some kind, so it just has a very different feel to me. I also can't make sense of what the meaning behind it would be if this similarity was intentional, and I really can't see the band purposely creating an album cover that could potentially be offensive to some people if the intent was to reference the scene in Da Vinci's painting. And I'm not saying that it is offensive, I'm just saying the potential's there, and I certainly don't want to speak for the band, but I can't make that work in my mind. So I really do think that it's a coincidence, however, I totally get why so many Many of you thought that they were similar because there are definitely similarities, and I totally respect if you completely disagree with me. But let's move on to some of your other theories. Now, some of you thought that the album cover depicts Gen Z versus Boomers, which was also something that hadn't crossed my mind, but we definitely do see two different generations here. Several of you also thought that the artwork was very similar to the inner sleeve photo from Beggar's Banquet by the Rolling Stones. Now this I can really see, lots and lots of similarities here visually, including some of the food choices and decor on the table, and there's also something very similar about the feel. I had never seen the photos from this shoot, so I didn't make the connection and I have no idea if it was intentional, but I definitely do see the parallels. Another great idea was that the cover might have symbolism within the artwork that is representing each song on the album, which would be really fun. Already we see the fly and the cheese for sick and the bird cage, which is referenced in HiCad. So I think this could be a very real possibility. A few of you also felt that there were signs that this album is going to be a concept album and that the artwork was kind of tying it all together. Someone suggested that it might be following a theme that is a continuation of the last album, citing the line from Money that says, rapacity will be the illness that we learn to love. I definitely think that fits with what we see on the album cover at least, but we'll have to see what's on the actual album before we know for sure. Okay, let's move on to the bird sitting on the cage, which as I said in my last video, is one of my favorite images in the artwork, and I had a lot to say about it, and many of you kind of expanded on this theory. I loved this comment, freedom is an illusion as we are all tied to the pursuit of money. 
I think that sums it up nicely, but I also thought this was an interesting theory. The comment reads, I feel the bird outside the cage alludes to their TEDx talk appearance seven years ago when they were getting started. They made a mission statement about sticking to their identity and not taking the bait to become something they are not for money. Someone else thought it symbolized them feeling that they are tethered to the industry while still yearning for the independence they had when they were much younger. And this could be possible, especially after hearing the lyrics to High Cat. Another theory was that the cage might symbolize the band being given money to escape the financial costs of recording, but feeling like they are still in a cage formed by the record label, which they also thought was a reference to the lyrics in High Cat. A lot of very interesting thoughts here. You guys also had a lot to say about the other people being at the table. A few of you thought that the image was depicting rich elites with a lavish table of decadent food and that it was actually being raided and destroyed by Danny Powell and Alley. Several of you also thought that it might be a dig against the music industry, basically saying that they refuse to sell out or give up their artistic control. And I think this makes a lot of sense. I definitely feel like there has to be some kind of statement there because it's somewhat unusual to have other people on the cover of an album that aren't in the band. It's not unheard of, but it's certainly intentional. Many of you also pointed out the age difference between the other people and the band, and a few of you thought this might even be referencing the age of a lot of the fans in comparison to the girls. Now, I think this is an interesting thought, but given how much they love their fans, I would be surprised if this was the real intent. I think they feel connected to their fans no matter what their age. So let's move on to the pig with a stack of money in its mouth. You guys had a lot of insightful comments here, like the money in its mouth was showing that greed even survives death. Another similar take on that was that maybe the greed caused its death. Now, going in a completely different direction, someone suggested that they thought the pig was a statement about how when they signed with Lava, some people made negative comments about them selling out and losing creative control, and that's why all the animals in the scene are shown with money. So it's kind of poking fun at all the haters that had said that. Very interesting thought. Something else that was pointed out a few times is that the pig is actually really skinny, even though it looks like no one has started to eat it yet. I hadn't noticed that, but I think that could have some significance. Now, I'd love to hear your theories, but the first thing that comes to my mind is a piggy bank that's been emptied, like it was just the money inside of it that was making it fat, or maybe it being a statement about how a steady diet of superficial priorities in life is depleting instead of being nourishing. I'm really not certain about the meaning here, but I do agree it's unusual that the pig is so skinny. I also thought there were some great theories about the band wearing red. One person thought it might be a reference to the Crimson Queen, which I definitely had not thought of. Another comment that made me smile was noting that Pau is wearing all red in the artwork and has red hair, while her sisters are wearing lesser degrees of red or mostly black, and that it might be implying their temperaments. Now, Pau is of course known for being outspoken. She's definitely a fireball. Not sure if that was the intent of the red or not, but it is interesting to note that Pau does seem to be the focal point of the picture. She has a notably different outfit and she is directly center, which is something that many of you pointed out as well. Now, the biggest thing that I missed that you guys picked up on was that blue rose. I have no idea how I overlooked this one, especially because blue roses aren't even something that can be found in nature and clearly are symbolic. And it's just so prominent in the picture. Prior to making this video, however, I had no idea what blue roses were supposed to represent. And when I looked it up, there was a huge spectrum ranging all the way from standing for mystery to overcoming challenges. One of you felt that the blue rose symbolized love and acceptance for women. Another great comment reads, blue roses are symbols of rarity, mystery, and uniqueness, representing good fortune and spiritual healing in many cultures. They symbolize determination, abundance, 
experience romance, individuality, and self-acceptance for embracing flaws. I love that and I really do hope the girls fill us in because it is just so prominent in the picture and I'm sure it has to have some kind of meaning. I also want to mention that there were three other things that you pointed out that I completely missed or my eyes aren't good enough to see. So let me know if you spotted these things because I am still having trouble. The first is a fly swatter, which would be another reference to sick if it's there. The second is a diamond ring in the cake and I can't see it at all, but if it's there, it seems that it might be alluding to it being a wedding cake. And of course, Danny is eating a huge slice of it, so that could be significant. And the third is that someone said the cufflink of the first man on the left side where Ale is, is a Z, which would be a direct reference to the song from Error. So I'm at a loss, but please let me know if you can make out any of these things I think we may need to see the artwork in its higher resolution when the album comes out to really confirm any of these things. Now, finally, going back to the actual title of the album, it looks like most of us, including myself, got the meaning behind it completely wrong. Because of the artwork, I thought the title was social commentary in some way. And in the original video, I talk about a few different possibilities that I think it could be referring to. It turns out, however, that the title is actually a lot more uplifting than that. It's kind of an expression of gratitude. We now know this because the band talked about it in an article on blabbermouth.net. And I will read you the quote. It says, in talking about the story behind the decision to name the album Keep Me Fed, Pow says, throughout the whole process, the work was consuming us. By impacting everything we did, the album kept us fed both creatively and personally. We're inviting other people to participate and consume it too. And one of you in the comments actually nailed it. You said that you thought Keep Me Fed is a reference to the line, feed my senses in the song more. And I actually love that it's something positive that was the inspiration for the title because it shows that the band is enjoying this experience and that they still find it fulfilling and rewarding. I think we all just want the best for them. And it's nice to know that this journey is feeding them both creatively and personally. So with all of that being said, I just want to thank you guys for all your perceptive and thought-provoking comments on the video. There is nothing that I enjoy more than having open-minded, intelligent conversations about music and music-related things. And I want to thank you so much for being a part of that. I sincerely feel like I gained something from reading through your comments, and I love hearing your thoughts. So that is it for today. Please let me know what you want me to cover next. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week.